Hi everyone, welcome to a Sunday afternoon haul video. I got um, a nice order from Dick Blix. Um, I was very excited to receive it. Um, and I wanted to share with you what I got. Um, one of my first orders were um, some Liquitense inks. They are professional acrylic inks. I tried three colors of them that I got already from um, AC Moore and uh, I wanted a bigger color selection, so I went to Blix, um, got them at a cheaper price, and um, was able to have some more selection. So let me show you the colors I got. This one is Yellow Oxide. This one is Turquoise Deep. Nice deep blue. Um, this one is yellow, medium, azo, azo. Here you can see the different shades of the yellow. I'll line them up here. This one is a very bright yellow. It is yellow light hue. See how bright that is? Here you can see the difference in the three hues. Then I got, this is white, it's titanium white. This is cerulean blue hue, really nice vibrant blue. Pyrrol red. This is natural gray value five, or neutral, I'm sorry, neutral gray. This is sap green permanent. And then I also picked up some metallics. So I got um, iridescent rich copper, oh, and that's just gorgeous. I got iridescent rich bronze. And then finally I picked up um, iridescent bright silver. So just beautiful colors. These are... Um, if you can see on here, these are opaque and light fast, so when you put them on top of something, they will totally cover up a color um, and be very rich and bright, vibrant. They will maintain that rich, vibrant, deep color um, whenever you use them on a layer. Um, and they are acrylic, so there's some information right there. The next thing I bought was um, some of the Faber-Castell pens. Um, they've gotten hot um, in the paper crafting market lately um, and you can buy them specifically for paper crafters um, but Dick Blick has the same colors um, at a much cheaper price. Um, let me see. The Liquitense the Liquitex inks were actually three dollars and twenty one cents a piece which was much cheaper than what I got them at um, AC Moore and the uh, looking at the other part of my receipt here, um, the big brush pens are two dollars and forty seven cents in Blix. So let me show you the colors I got. I got leaf green, and you can see these are Pitt Artist pens, the big brush, and um, that means they are made of India ink, waterproof, highly light fast, and acid free, and they blend really nicely too. Scarlet Red, Chromium Green Opaque, Nougat, I just love the name of that one, Couldn't Go Without a Black, um, Cold Gray Number 4, Oh geez, Indian Threen Blue, or Indian Threen, Indian Threen Blue. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I should have practiced before I taped or recorded. Warm Gray Number Five. Um, this is Orange Glaze, 
and then the last one I received is cobalt blue, and then I have two more in black or back order. One is a teal color, and one is a brighter yellow color. Um, in the same strain of inks and colorants, I also got Mr. Bombay's or Doctor um, Bombay's. Uh, what do you call these? Indian inks. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'll show you. This is a set. I think it's set number one. And there are 12 in the set. Yes, 12. And then I also added to it, because I thought it would be really functional, um, a white. And just because it's such a popular color right now, a teal color. And these can be used in pens, they can be used for blending, and the cool thing is Dick Blick sent along a project sheet for these, and they show you, they give you instruction on how to paint with them. Whenever I can get more ideas for using my supplies, I think that's a great thing. And then I also picked up, um, so I could use these for different purposes, I also picked up um, a set of pens, pen nibs, a pen and pen nibs. Um, these are just dip pens, so you dip them in, fill up the little reservoir with ink, and then you can write with them. Um, I know it's going to take some practice because uh, I used to play around with this at my grandma's house when I was a little girl, um, but I haven't done it in quite a while. But just, uh, I can't imagine, I can't wait to try this white in the fountain pens um, and see what that turns out to be like. I also got, let me see, some um, carving tools to try my hand at making some handmade stamps. And there are, um, those are the carving tips that are inside. And then I got a block of the Speedy Cut. Um, I can make any size stamp I want on here. Um, I'm obviously not going to start out with stamps this large. I'll just try my hands at smaller ones and then go um, for bigger ones once I have it all figured out. And the last part of my order from Blix was um, some 6x12 frames. I've been trying to find 6x12 frames everywhere. Cannot find them. I love them. Um, horizontal in this size and I also love to use them vertically in this size so I picked up three of those and then I also have a small bit of goodies that I got from Michael's that I will share with you I picked up from Michael's let me see Um, a color that everybody's been talking about lately, so I wanted to try it out for myself. Um, the Antique White. So, just a really nice, warm, white color. And then I also picked up some more of the charms um, that have been going on clearance, the Industrial Chic Charms. So let me show you that one. They must have been um, pricey for everyone because I don't know about other people's Michaels, but even though these are in clearance, most of the selection is still available. Uh, got this one with the little bottle, and this one has a number seven on it, and the key. really a lot, 70 um, of these little safety pins in grungy looking colors. And, that. and this side has, you can see that on that side. This set.
keys. I love these little old fashioned typewriter keys. They're really heavy too. And then this is the last set that I picked up. Let's see if I can turn this up. Love that little like acorn. And then that's on the side. And the E. Also picked up a set of small alphabet cling stamps. And that's it. So the Blix um, is an early birthday present to myself. They had, I believe it was 20% off my entire purchase and then free shipping. Um, so I couldn't pass up this, that offer. Um, so I did go ahead and order those um, for myself even though my birthday is um, a little less than a month off. <laughs> Um, I thought I would take advantage of the savings. And so that's it. That's all I have to share for right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.